Welcome. This video will examine how to manage the subcontracting process in SAP, S4 HANA Enterprise Management. We will start examining the benefits to be achieved, by using the subcontracting process. Achieve continuous improvement and innovation in areas outside of your core business, by collaborating with specialist firms. You can also use subcontracting to level capacity requirements in manufacturing. Subcontracting also helps with limiting capital expenditure in manufacturing equipment and control costs. Before we head on to the system demo, let's look the concept. Subcontracting, in our context, refers to the practice of bringing in an outside company or individual to perform specific operations in manufacturing. Our company sends parts to the subcontractor, the subcontractor performs the operation, and provides our company with an assembled material which we can use in our manufacturing process. In this demonstration we will see the following happen. First we will create a subcontracting purchase order. It contains one product, which is manufactured using two raw materials. We send these two raw materials to our subcontractor. The subcontractor produces our product, and we make a goods receipt. Finally, we receive the invoice from the supplier. Now, let us look at the system demo. We start off our process by creating a purchase order, for out product SG27. We fill in our supplier number, which is 17300007. The organizational data can be defaulted, rather than filled in manually. Using item category L, signifies that this is a subcontracting purchase order. We fill in our product, SG27, the quantity required which is 2. Then we also fill in our plant number and the storage location which will receive the product. Next, we add the serial numbers we intend to receive from our supplier. We generate them automatically. Finally we save our purchase order, and the purchase order number is presented at the bottom of the screen. Now we look at the raw material stock situation at the supplier. We enter our supplier number, 17300007. By expanding the rows of our raw materials, we can see the stock situation at the supplier. From here, we can create the outbound delivery to supply the missing raw materials to our subcontractor. Once we have entered our storage location, we create the document and get the corresponding number presented on our screen. Next, we do our simplified picking process of the raw materials we are sending to our supplier in order for our finished material SG27 to be produced. We add the serial numbers for our raw materials. This information could be provided by using warehouse management functionality, such as SAP Extended Warehouse Management, as this information will be collected during the picking process in the warehouse. We also confirm the quantities which we have picked, and when done, we post the goods issue as the raw materials are now heading to the subcontractor. Our subcontractor has finished the manufacturing, and we are now ready to make the goods receipt. We accept the two pieces by marking them OK. Then we also check that we receive our expected serial numbers. We finally post the goods receipt, and receive the material document resulting from the stock movement. In concluding the process, we receive the supplier invoice. We add the related information, such as invoice date, our reference number and the supplier number. Next, we call up the purchase order information, and simulate the invoice results. When done, we post the document and get our reference document in the system. The functionality shown in this video, regarding subcontracting, is available in S4 HANA, both cloud and on-premise versions. Similar functionality is available also in ECC, although screen layout may differ. Let us complete this video, by repeating the benefits of using subcontracting. Achieve continuous improvement and innovation in areas outside of your core business, by collaborating with specialist firms. You can also use subcontracting to level capacity requirements in manufacturing. Subcontracting also helps with limiting capital expenditure in manufacturing equipment and control costs. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.